Hi everyone, I'm Iverson Lee. Welcome to this Power Up Your Day Master Series episode number eight. So if you are the first timer here, so and you don't know what this is all about, so basically the I doing this video here is to help our uh, all individual, uh, especially the beginner who interested to learn Pazi or Chinese astrology to improve their life, right? So if you are interested about life improvement or we want to become happier uh, person, so I would say that this would be uh, the video that right for you. So and uh, how do you actually learn this? Uh, what is the first step here? Is first of all, you need to get your Pazi chart ready. So you haven't got one yet. So there's a link on the screen right now. Just click on it and key in your date of birth, time of birth and your gender and you are good to go. All right, just pause this video for a while and then get your chart ready. All right, welcome back. So once you get your chart ready here, so there are a lot, a lot of information in the chart, doesn't it? Right. So how do we actually tackle this information? Right. In the first thing we would like to learn on the chart is about ourselves. So there are one section are uh, on this chart here that represent ourselves. So why we want to know that? Because this is the most important information in the chart. Why? Because if we want to have a better future, think about this: who need to be better first? ourselves right so if we are more skillful we are more happier we are more determined and then we have more courage don't you think we can create a yeah, better result in our life so therefore the first focal point we want to focus on is ourselves so in Pazi we regard this as day master so as shown on the screen right now this is where you're going to look for this piece of information okay all right so once uh, you actually identify this section here so there are total of 10 day master there are different uh, day master here so you could be one of these 10 so therefore since there are 10 day master i dedicated each episode here to talk about one day master so since this is episode number eight today so and uh, i'm going to actually share about the yin metal day master as shown on the screen right now right so you need to check your chart whether you are this yin matter they must they master or maybe you're not maybe it could be your family members your children right your friends or maybe even your boss or your colleague right so don't you think it's good to know more about that so and how do we actually start this is i all this day master here represents certain image so for this yin metal day master they are talking about uh it represents something like jewelry uh refined metal like rings as shown on the background right now necklace a fine shiny object these are the image representation of this uh, yin metal uh, day master so now let me share with you uh, what is their characteristic here so think about this right or regardless whether it's a ring or a necklace right or all refined jewelry so their whole purpose here is to shine right so is to blink so therefore uh, the thing here is if you are yin metal day master here uh, you must look good, right? You must be seen because you're only happy when people appreciate and recognize you. So recognition is very, very important. Attention also very important. So let's say you have a friend or your boss is a yin metal day master. What you need to do here is to pay them a lot of respect and compliment. They are going to be very, very happy, right? So therefore you can actually build a better connection with them, right? Because all yin metal day master are very conscious about their own image, their own reputation reputation right so and therefore if you discover that if your boss is a yin metal day master now you know how to manage them right okay and then the second part here if you are yin metal day master you also have a great oratory skills yeah? so which means that you can become a very good speaker or it could be politicians a great teacher or motivational coach you know so they are good at that why because they have the ability to command attention and make them that's why they make them a good uh, speaker right it doesn't mean that you need to talk a lot right in order to become a good speaker right so the thing is do you know how to command attention from others or not and yin metal person have this so-called natural ability to do that right so therefore they're good are uh, in speaking so and then uh, beside that they also have the power to actually uh, teach instruct and inspires other as well so if you're yin metal day master you need to ask yourself uh, are you inspirational or not right so if you're not so work into that direction right because the more you do that the more brighter you are the more happier you are right because all yin metal person supposed to shine they're supposed to be on stage yeah that is their let's bring them fulfillment in life 
Okay, all right. So this Yin Metal Day Master also uh, the other part of it. They are also very sentimental. Uh, most of the time, they're being uh, led by emotions and they're very nostalgic, right? So therefore, uh, sometimes whenever at a work, right? So if you're too emotional, you might make some impulsive decision, which you might regret later. So you might need to look into that, right? On the previous episode, we are talking about metal, but it's a yang metal. Yang metal is a very rough metal, right? So it's uh, they don't crack under pressure. But this yin metal is a refined metal, so they can easily melt, right? So they might not able to handle pressure very well so if you're a yin metal person i would say that you might actually need to actually uh, probably uh, uh, strengthen yourself emotionally and also uh, find uh, a way for you to calm your emotion down so you're able to actually look at things objectively so you can able to handle pressure better okay so and then also uh, or for all the yin metal person you are also uh, very good in detail oriented work so i would say that because uh, if you remember on episode number three we're talking about yang fire yang fire is about big picture right so but this yin metal they're able to do a detail oriented work like uh, for example like uh something to do with investigation you know or something to do with finding thoughts on certain things like movie critics you know they're looking for thoughts or audits you know so they're very eye for detail if you want to know certain opinion about your products you know, what's wrong with your product or any area of improvement of your product or services they are good people to go to you have to ask for opinion okay all right so because yes our uh, on previous episode talk about yang metal is the master of execution then what is the superpower for yin metal right so since they are they are a jewelry they are fine um metal they are refined metal so they're actually not so good in execution right because they're supposed to look elegant right the moment you actually do a lot of work you, your, your sweat thing you know then you might not look so elegant right so normally they are not a doer but they are a thinker right so therefore if you are yin metal the skill you need to learn is the art of delegation right since you actually uh, don't like to do a lot so you can become a, a person that can delegate jobs to others and then get the things done as well. That's why you see a lot, a lot of successful CEO. They also have a yin metal in the chart. Okay. All right. So I hope you enjoy this uh, description about yin metal day master. If you'd like to know more information about uh, Ba Zhe, Qi Men or Feng Shui Yuan, right? You can connect with me uh, from either of these three channels here. So either from YouTube, Instagram or Telegram. Okay, all right. So, and on the next episode, I'm going to talk about the next day master, which is the Yang Water, right? So, are you Yang Water? You got Yang Water? Then stay tuned for the next episode, which I'm going to release in a couple of days time. Okay, till then, I wish all of you here have a healthy and prosperous life. I'm Iverson Lee. Keep in touch. <laughs>